Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Let's just jump right in it. Today we're gonna to be talking about ergonomic trackballs to use on your computer, okay? So this is a Tech Corner video, um, and this is something that, that, that's been with me for a long time. I've been using trackballs because regular mice just really mess with my wrist. I mean, really, really, really do. Um, I did have an older video, I'll have it pop up here, where I compare the uh, Logitech M570 against the, the Microsoft uh, mouse. I forget the, the name that they call it, but it's their ergonomic mouse. And the ergonomic mouse is, is what my wife uses. She really likes it, but it, it just really doesn't do it for me. Um, just still moving it around. It's so much better than a regular mouse, but not as good as the trackball for me. Uh, but what I got is the 570 and the new 575, okay? And I wanted to just kind of compare them and, and talk about a few, uh, a few things worth mentioning. All right, first of all, you can see that they're, they're very similar. I mean, very, very similar. Uh, the 575 here has got a few updates on it. It's, it's got a kind of a grooved, textured grip right here, which, which is actually really nice. You can kind of feel it there, but it's not protruding where um, it's uncomfortable by any means. It it's actually just gives you a little more grip uh, than the smooth of the, the 570. Um, you can see their ball positions are almost identical. There are some updates. Uh, this is more of a silvery ball and this is more blue. I don't know that that necessarily helps, but I will say is I do like the updates on the 575. Now when I got it on Amazon, I, and there will be Amazon links in the description down below for both of these even, um, but on the 575, uh, which is their newer model, of course it's cost a little more. It roughly, it's roughly $50. You can still probably find these for about 33 or 34, I think. Um, and this is not a, a bad trackball at all. Uh, but the motion on this with the ball is, and I know this one's a little older and a little worn out, but it was always just a little bit stiff, you know, kind of a little rough. This one here just spins very smooth on the new 575. And some of the comments talk about Logitech using cheaper buttons for up here, like lesser quality. I, I feel no quality issues here. Now, yes, I've only been using this for, for like a week, um, so I don't have years of use on it by any means, uh, but there's nothing that feels cheap, like it's gonna stop working, it's gonna fail prematurely. I don't feel cheapness to this at all. I don't, so I don't feel it. There's no quality difference feel in, in either holding this thing, using the trackball or any of the buttons, okay? What I do feel is a smoother, more responsive you know, trackball here and the newer one. That's what I do feel. And another feature that the newer one has is a Bluetooth uh, syncing option, okay? Uh, when the older one uses just their old unifying uh, radio frequency, okay? Okay, well, since I was talking about it, I had to give it a shot real quick and see if I could connect this to a Bluetooth de device like my phone. And I connected it right up to my Samsung Galaxy 10. Okay, so it was like, boom, and it gave me a little cursor on the screen and everything. I was able to like go through the menus. You can actually use the, the scroller, scrolling roller, and then it'll actually like flip through the different home screens, like swiping. And then I, I played a game and won. Did a little Clash Royale, that's right. So how you do it, so there's a little button down here below. So white is like on a unifying, so that's for like for the tower, because you're gonna wanna switch it back when you get back to the ready for the computer. All right, so if you hit it again, then it turns blue. That's ready for Bluetooth. And if you want to connect it to pair it, you want to hold it for a couple seconds. Okay, see how it's blinking fast? Now it's ready for pairing, okay? And it seemed, it synced right up with my phone and it was ready to use, it was, it was really fun. And then going back to the white light, so I was back. Is it working? Yep, back for the tower. So you don't even have to, I thought I had to pull the little, little receiver out of the tower, but you don't. Just flip it over to the Bluetooth, connect it to your phone, and then you're good to go. Now you're still gonna get the little Logitech USB receiver, okay? Very small, very flush, you can see here, it doesn't stick way out. That's one of the things that I disliked about the Microsoft, it just stuck out like over an inch um, and is easy to break if you have a laptop, okay? This one here, it's very flush, it hangs out just a little bit and it's sturdy and it's not, you don't have that problem with it. We're worrying about, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm gonna rip it out of there or break it off, okay? Now, as soon as I plugged in the little adapter into the tower, I was able to, to use the trackball. It was, it was active and ready to go, okay? So that was nice, but I needed to connect my keyboard to it as well. And you can see Logitech has an older program. It's called Logitech Setpoint, okay? And that's what you used to configure 
you know, this keyboard here, which I think they call it like the, the M380, um, their big wave keyboard, and the older 570 trackball. But now that this one here, newer, is Bluetooth, it, it doesn't, the mouse doesn't work here, okay, which is, which is interesting. So when you, if you had the set point, um, and you put the trackball in here, it's going to say that you have, uh, you can download the new Logitech Options program. That's actually what they call it, Options. Um, and then right now it says I can launch it, but I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit OK and show you we got the Logitech set point. So I can still customize the keyboard and it's working. So there's actually going to be three programs here, okay, which sounds a little crazy. I wish they didn't do that, but with the old and the new, that's the way they did it, okay. So here's the old set point, which lets you customize the hotkeys and special features of both the keyboard and the older 570 trackball. And then this right here, the Unifying Settings, it's actually a separate program, okay? It says Open Unifying Software. And what I'm gonna do is I actually already have it on the website, so you can download. If you don't have the, the set point or the Unifying Software, I have it on my on website. And then in the description of this video down below will be my link directly to that page. So when you find this video, you'll find those downloadable files and the, um, the new software, the new options, was too big for me to add as, as a download. But what I do is I have a button there that'll take you directly to Logitech's uh, download page, and you can download that there as well, okay? But I do have the first two programs you can download directly from me. Now when you open the Unifying software, sorry, it always pops up on my, my other screen, okay? Right here, you say, you can you go next, and you can like tell it to go ahead and add more devices. I like hitting advanced, and it shows you more of a, an old fashioned, let me zoom in a little bit more, an old fashioned format here. So you can see my keyboard, the, oh sorry, it's a K350. I spoke wrong before. Um, and then I've got the M575 mouse. And so if you want to pair a new device, you can select right there. So from this unifying software, because in the comments, some people said that if you use this new mouse with the new receiver, you can't use the older keyboards. Well, you can, you just have to use this older, you have to have the uh, unifying software to do it. You can't use the new option software to, 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 to do it. So I'll show you here, if you decide to launch Logitech Options, all right, so here in the Options program, now you can like make all the adjustments to the new 575 trackball, okay? But when you go down here to add devices, and you wanna, it says you can either set up a Bluetooth device or set up a unifying device. When I add the unifying device and follow directions, the keyboard will not sync, it just won't. It, it just says, you know, can't find anything, and it fails. Um, but it will not fail, you can add it, you just have to add it using the, um, the unifying software, I'm sorry. This right here, and you'll get everything to work on that one um, that one receiver. You don't have to have multiple receivers in your, in your tower or your laptop. Okay, so I hope I didn't like create confusion there. I was really trying to open that can of worms and straighten them out rather than letting them all tied and twisted and crazy. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I wish the logic, I mean, I love the Logitech devices, but I wish they made that software a little more simple. I don't know why the new one refuses to accept the old stuff. So you kind of have to have all three of those things if you have the older Logitech keyboard. Now, if you have a different keyboard or a wired keyboard, then you don't have to worry about any of that. I was just trying to show you guys how to use their older keyboards, you know, and connect them with the newer trackball. Um, but if you don't have that, you can go just strictly with the new options program and customize the new trackball and enjoy it because I've been enjoying it immensely, how smooth. I mean, honestly, that roller is buttery smooth. Really, really liking it. Very happy with my purchase. Anyways, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel check out our website, hundreds of more videos organized really well, and there's another video for you guys to enjoy. You guys have a great one.